So we've talked quite a bit about the risk assessment process and there are tools available to help work through this method. One of which is the Design Safe software, also Pack Safe and Robot Risk Assessment. Here on the screen is the base level of the Design Safe product. First tab is where we identify users' tasks and hazards. Second tab is where we move to assess and reduce risk. So the first element in uh, for a particular machine or product is to identify who are the users. The program comes with built-in dynamic checklists. So you can identify the operator, the maintenance technician, if there's a materials handler, or say a cleaning crew, perhaps a passerby. Whoever it is is the user of the product. At the next level then we look at what are the tasks they perform. And here we have a list of op common operator tasks such as normal operations, stocking, restocking, loading and unloading materials. A maintenance technician is going to be doing different tasks such as periodic maintenance, troubleshooting or problem solving. A passerby might be simply walking near the machinery. So those are the tasks. At the next level then we look at what are the hazards associated with the specific tasks. In the middle are hazard categories, on the right side are specific hazards. So under mechanical hazards we have crushing, cutting, drawing in, pinch point, stabbing, puncturing, unexpected start, and so forth. And for this normal operation we've identified an impact hazard from dropped parts. There might also be a cutting hazard from a blade. Each category has different hazards. Electrical, electronic has energized equipment and live parts. Maybe improper wiring. Slips, trips, and falls. Slip, trip, fall hazard from elevated work. You may have ergonomic issues such as lifting, bending, twisting because some parts weigh more than 35 pounds. If there's a ex fire or explosion hazard, heat, temperature, severe heat, noise or vibration. This is the brainstorming function of the tool. It doesn't tell you what to think, but it helps you on what to think about. So you work through these lists, identifying what hazards are applicable and skipping over the ones that are not for each user, each task, and each hazard. Entering the cause failure mode is optional. After we've identified the user's tasks and hazards, we step over to the assess and reduce risk tab. This is basically a spreadsheet with a user, our task, our hazard, and the cause and failure mode. You can see we have a cutting and severing hazard from the blade. We are using the severity and probability from the ANSI B110 TR3 risk scoring system. It looks like this. We've seen this before. Software works with many different risk scoring systems and you basically assess the severity and the probability for each task and hazard pair. Let's assume this is serious but unlikely. That gives us a medium risk level and you do so for each one. As we slide over to the right we look at what is the methodology to reduce risk. Drop down menus prompt us with a hazard control hierarchy. Perhaps we need to look at guarding here and adjustable enclosure and barrier and let's put an interlock on this machine as well. and a warning label. We document here the items that we're going to use to reduce the risk and then we slide over and assess the severity and probability again with the risk reduction measures in place. That will give us a residual risk level and again the software doesn't tell you if that's acceptable or not. Uh, that's a decision you have to make. We can put a person responsible in, in this location here Let's assume it's going to be Bruce. There are columns for the status. If this is an action item, uh, it can be complete, ongoing, in process, to be done, or an action item. And there are also several columns over here for comments, references, and a hyperlink if you'd like to uh, link to an outside source. This basically helps not only with the documentation of the risk assessment, but helps you in what to think about. It'll help you work through the risk assessment process. There are several features built in to help speed the assessment as best we can. Um, so we've focused very clearly on taking time out of the risk assessment to help you get down the path.